Okay. I'll keep an eye out for a sob. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about him, though. You should be. We won't have the advantage of surprise again. Don't think he was expecting much from me. Wait, was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. His guys are idiots, but a sword is We just need to stay the hell away from him. Never understood the appeal of people like Asav. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? So, Where are you going? Want to climb it with me? I really want to, but uh, someone should keep watch for Asav's forces. Good call. <laughs> Up and away. Easy does it. All right up there? So far, so good. Here's our three symbols. Well, that took less time than I expected. Ganesha's trident. Let's see here. Aimed right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress. Just beyond those waterfalls. Trident mark on the map for you. And behind door number two. Huh. Wonder what that could be. For future reference. Let's see what's behind the axe door. Another old fortress, tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map, with an axe. Last but not least, the bow door. And another old fortress, sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot. Was it worth a climb? And then some. Found the three symbols. Really? Yep. Each one was pointing towards a different fortress. Those will be the best places to look. Perfect. How'd you get tangled up with the Sarv anyway? Purpose? Rather not go into it. You certainly seem to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... Yeah. Uh, do tell. I was hoping they'd get bored and leave. Probably won't, unless we ask nicely. Oh, here goes nothing. Shit. Saw something. <gasps> Guy down here! Safety's off. I want them found. Now!
we're clear. Good. Fragile. Don't recognize this. It's not one of the three symbols. We should stay focused. Never say no to a chance to make some extra cash. Interesting. Some kind of Hoysala token. It's not one of our three symbols. Might be worth trading once we get back home. After all that, you found anything? Just a token of some kind. Old Hoysala thingy. Think we need it? Need? Probably not. Want? Definitely. Hey, notice anything about this statue? It's holding a trident. One of our three symbols. Yes, and it's pointing at those ruins. Right. Well done. Glad I'm good for something. Tangled up with the Sav anyway. Purpose. Rather not go into it. You certainly seem to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but. No. Uh, do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks? Not enough alcohol in the world. Might have company ahead. Interesting circular motif. Like the disc. <laughs> We're definitely in the right place. Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Matches the symbol in the tower. Ganesh. Remover of obstacles. Is the gate secured? Not yet. Let's keep this quiet. As long on as we Cobra can. Eight. Copy that. Or something. Look into it. I'm on it. Hey, you got anything? We're all clear. Let's 
I have them! That's a lot of them. You all right? I'm fine. Apart from working for a reckless treasure hunter. Okay. Shall we see about getting that gate open? Good call. Hmm. Okay, that's not it. No, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just. Wanted you to have a go at something. What's this? That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. Huh. The locks are retracting when I turn the wheels. So then there's probably five in total. Four to go then. About you. That's two. Here's another one. Three down. Last but not least. That should do it. Okay. Back to the big wheel thing. The big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. Mm, big wheel thing works. Come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient porcelain jigsaw puzzle? Ganesh? Hello, sir. Now what? Now, I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a grenade, I know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Feel that? Mm -hmm. oh. Mm -hmm. Tracer. Uh, 
Look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learned a lot. Hoysalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go digging for treasure, I'd better make a buck or two. Oh, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business? Mm. Made a real mess of it. Well, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? There's the fort marked with an axe on the mountain there. And that fort marked with a bow in the lake bed. I suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well. Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought MREs. You're no fun. Breather, incoming reinforcements. Figures. We're clear. For real this time. You handed yourself on. All things considered. All things considered. 
That's high praise coming from you. It is. Mountains and lake bay. Yes and yes. Right, you're the military expert. What's the Saab strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our tracks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were a Saab? Besides lose the beard? Hang back? Let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work. Devious. Practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you are. I'm a little surprised Assault's not doing the same thing. Maybe his expert knows more than we think. Right. All the more reason to wrap this up quickly then. Hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about it. I had my concerns. <laughs> Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth. Especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side... Oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. You always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always preferred the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. Looks like we've got rebels ahead. Look up there. Parashurama's bow. Spotted this on the tower too. So, Parashurama... Parashurama. Parashurama. Right. Who was he again? Okay. A six avatar of the god Vishnu. A fearsome warrior. <laughs> it should do the trick. Hard to say. A <laughs> fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. Now where do we go? Up. 
We go up. Nice to be out of that shithole, finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. I'd watch your mouth. Sorry. Soon it won't matter. Once we have the task, the people will follow like sheep. Yeah, even the mighty Indian army will tremble. I can't wait. Nadine, move! That's it. We're clear. Probably a lure to the others. Can't be helped. There, the mountain! Here come the others! You boys really don't want me shooting from down here. Okay. We're all clear. Won't be the last of them. There was a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. We'd better. We walk right off a cliff. You do have a sense of humor. Would have preferred a head start over a fog. See that? Looks like another faucet. Let's find a way up. Follow me! Nadine, all friends up ahead. I don't know where here. Good. Amazing, all things considered. How are you so relaxed? Didn't you hear those gunshots? I did. You worry too much. Our brothers are trained by Asad. Oh, shit. Man down here. We are not alone. Spread out. Search the area. Anything. I had no luck. My area is clear. You check there. I will search you. Be careful. Go, 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 go! What? Watch yourselves. Move out. Find them. Oh, shit! We have company. Nice job! Start secure. Well done. And you said I was like a bull in a china shop. On the uh. No, but you thought. Got me there. Let's press on. Just what I was gonna say. Look, we're getting that 
gate. Perfect. That should do it. at least. Sorry. I'm sure you can find your way over here. Oh, definitely. Figured you'd want to take the easy way over. Huh? <sighs> Beg your pardon? Doing all right? I'm fine. Just don't get started without me. Sure. Wouldn't dream of it. Okay, guess this isn't the way in. Oh, there you are, having fun. Just like the monkey bars in primary school. I'd say this looks safer than the playground at my school. Oh, nearly there. Made it. I'm impressed. You're impressed. I'm tired. Let's get this done. All right. I'm guessing it'll be a bow this time. Good guess. Oh, this one's a bit trickier. And look at that. Part of Sharama. Right. Let's turn the water on. Well, well. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. <laughs> Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Ross and I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand, on the outskirts of Halabadoo. That's... pretty funny. Last stop. The fort embedded in that mountain. That'll be the one with the axe. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Ah, oh, this is open now. Where's the one by the mountain left? In the Makes 
more sense why I solves after the Tusk now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause, wavered in the government's face. Just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persian, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. And here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are. Let men like the Saab fight over it. It's none of our concern. Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for a Saab? <laughs> Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd start with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Beautiful out here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Ah, oh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Oh, hold on. Watch out. The rebels might be here already. Hey, look. Shiva's axe. Man. Glad I climbed that tower, eh? He was the god of destruction, right? Yes, but maybe not in the way you're thinking. So not blowing things up. Definitely not. Here we go. Hey, I'll take care of this one. Okay. Salah versus the tiger. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. No, 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 no! Oh! <coughs> Fraser, you okay? <coughs> yep. Come on in. Water's fine. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Correction. Our climbing gear. Does not afford luxury. We are. What? What was it? What did you find? I think we're good here. Down. 
Look around, people. Spread out and look. You okay? Slightly deep, but I'm good. Good. Let's keep moving. Oh my. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see what this does. That statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. Oh shit, statue moved again. Oh, turns out getting walloped by an axe. Oh, that's a little. I'll bet. You all right? Yeah, all in a day's work. No better way to learn than on the job. I'd rather watch the master. Flattery gets you everywhere. I'd rather not get hit by an axe. That was close! I think that did it. Come on over. Coming. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues with two different symbols now. A star and rings. They're all boys to our sons. I like your descriptions better. Make an axe.
What the hell? That's not fair. Nice to see you, Shiva. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. Here we go. There'd be water. And now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner tends my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want a salve to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. 